With this problem, we're asked to use the graph of y equals 3x minus 1 and determine if for each of the ordered pairs given is the ordered pair a solution to the equation and is the point on the line. Now what may not be clear is that if the ordered pair is a solution to the equation, the point is on the line. Uh, so essentially with part b, we're mainly just verifying part a, whether or not uh, the solution, the ordered pair is a solution to the equation, also determines is the point on the line. Now if we end up with contradicting information, if we get a, a solution that isn't on the line, then we did something wrong. So with part a, or with point a, we're given 0, negative 1. So a 0, negative 1, uh, a solution to the equation. So we'll use our equation. I'll just underline this here. I'll write part b over to the side. But for this, since we have 0, negative 1, we want to know negative 1 does that equal 3 times 0 minus 1. So negative 1 equals 0 minus 1. 3 times 0 is 0, and minus 1 is negative 1. So yes, so for part A with point A, yes, 0, negative 1 is a solution. With part B, is the point on the line? We already know the answer to that. Yes, 0, negative 1 is on the line. The reason we know that is because it's a solution. If it wasn't a solution, it wouldn't be on the line. So we come over here just to verify, and we plot the point 0, negative 1. So we're not going left or right either direction. And then with negative 1, we go down 1. And this verifies that the point is on the line. Now with point B, we have 2, 5. So to determine part A, is the ordered pair a solution to the equation, we simply substitute 2 for x and 5 for y. So 5 does that equal 3 times 2 minus 1. 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So it is a solution. So yes, 2, 5 is a solution. So we already know the answer to part B. Yes. And, and these little marks where I'm doing this, that just means it's the same thing as what's above it. So yes, 2, 5 is on the line. To verify this, we go from the origin, from 0, 0, 2 units to the right, and 5 units up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we verify that that point is indeed on the line.